Hey guys, so this week I'm going to try to build a screen door insert for our 10RK. Um, the 10RK does not come with uh, screen doors, as most of you know. And uh, I've, I've tried looking up other models, like uh, the Geo Pro has screen doors, but the doors aren't the same size, so I can't just, you know, buy a, a door. So uh, I've seen people take... Um, the, the magnetic velcro and put it on I, I'd like to try to make something a little bit more sturdy sturdier and uh, so that's why I'm, I've, I've got a cheap piece of plywood right now so that if this is a failure then I'm not out that much money but I've got uh, a piece of poster board that I bought at Dollar General and uh, I've got it wedged in between the padding and the frame so then I can mark mark with a sharpie or ink pen, however, however you're gonna make your mark. But I'm gonna mark this, and then I'm gonna cut it in half, and go ahead and separate it out. That way I can take that back together, scotch tape, and I'm gonna take that over to another piece of, uh, like a foam board that I also bought at Dollar General. I think it was like $5. Uh, I'm going to try to make a uh, template on that foam board, go ahead and cut it out, and bring it over here, dry fit it, make sure it fits in there, and if that works, then I'm going to take that template, put it on my cheap piece of plywood, and I'm going to uh, transfer it over, cut it out, and proceed on with it. So, uh, but anyway, let's get started. So since the poster board ain't wide enough to cover both sides of the door, just go ahead and make this one, uh, one side and then slide it over. Make the other side so you'll have two sides to cut out. And then you'll cut it down the center and you'll, uh, you'll separate it on the template. Okay, just like that, make both marks, and now I'm going to cut it out. Okay, there's one side, there's the other. I'm going to take and just tape these up here on both corners, and then I'm going to take the, the extra piece of poster board we got, and I'm going to tape in between the gap to make one solid piece. That way I've got the top half of our door and I'll just transfer this over to the cheap plywood. Okay, I've got these two pieces taped up. I'm going to go ahead and cut a strip just to tape in here. And this will be one solid piece. Then I can take this over and lay it on my plywood and we'll cut it out. Not the straightest cut on the bottom, but this is still the, the factory uh, leading edge. So you can put that up on top there. Get yourself somewhat of a straight line. Okay, just like that, we got the top piece of our door. So let me get this taken off and we'll go back over to the plywood. So I'm going to line my straight line of this side of my template up flush with this and then I'm going to bring it up straight with the top. Trace just right here, your corner piece, your corner cut over here and uh, make your cut.
Okay, so I found uh, the poster board that I got from Dollar General that I'm not going to take back. Uh, I'm going to use it for a straight edge. But since it's not 47 inches long, which is what our doors measure, I'm going to go ahead and measure across and make separate marks over here on the side for uh, 28 three quarter. So I can line the straight edge up on this mark here, center mark, and my end mark. And slide it down, continue on for your uh, 47 inches. Okay, there's a 47 inch straight line. Now you want to do the same thing for the bottom. And since this is long enough to go across the bottom, You'll measure from the top, come down, make a couple 47 inch marks, line it up, make your line. All right, just like that, you've got your, uh, your uh, outline. So uh, I'm gonna get this cut out and then we'll go try fit it and see if it fits. Okay guys, I got it uh, cut out. Uh, go ahead and tap it on the ground, get all that dust off or as much dust as you can. And uh, I cross your fingers and see if it fits. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the original template that I built, I'm gonna uh, take that piece out of the center. I'm gonna bring this over maybe three inches three inches and then uh, bring it down maybe three four inches bring it cut it down maybe just below the the handle and then I'll, I'll uh, staple the screen on the inside of this and uh, that'll be our insert so let's get after it I'm gonna go ahead and get this top piece marked I'm gonna take it down to the bottom flip it over do the same thing Give me a drill, give me a pilot hole started, and uh, cut my window out. Okay, I've got the top and the bottom marked. I went ahead and brought it up from uh, the bottom 16 and a half inches. So now I'm gonna get my straight edge again and I'm gonna line up these two marks, connect them, drill it out. Now I'm gonna take a sander and uh, go around all the edges, knock off all that loose wood, smooth it out a little bit. And uh, then we're gonna move on to cutting the screen out and getting it stapled in. So I've got a piece of screen out of an old screen door. So I've got it laid up here. I'm going to take my staple gun. I'm going to work my way on one side and uh, then get to the other side, pull and have tension on it so it can be nice and tight. Now with an X-Acto knife, I'm going to go around the edge and trim off all the excess screen. Out of the piece of uh, scrap wood I have, I'm going to build four two inch by one inch latches. All right guys, so I'm going to mount the top two latches about 10 inches down from the top of the door. Okay, um, right now all I have are screws, but um, as soon as the hardware store opens up, or we get to the hardware store next week, I'm going to uh, go ahead and replace these and put uh, nut, nuts and bolts in them. So that way we don't have to worry about these falling out and we can get them good and tight to where they can hold it, hold it in uh, 
nice and firm keep a good seal okay so uh, basically what I did here is just that way see still pushes out so with four of them in it's nice and firm I would go with a harder wood here this is just what I had today like I said this is just a, a temporary one we're gonna take it out a few times see how it handles and then uh, probably during the off season I want to uh, build another one with uh, better wood and then also try to find a better way to uh, attach the screen without <laughs> using staples I mean it doesn't look that bad I guess but uh, if anybody has any other ideas on how to do it leave a comment down below so but yeah um that's it that's it in a nutshell i'm not a fabricator and i'm not a carpenter for sure if you haven't figured that out by now but uh also i did notice while i was building this when i was looking there is a whole bunch of trailers that have this style of door uh, it's not the same measurement, so you guys will have to measure uh, the width and height yourself. But the way I did this with uh, tracing the template out, you guys should be able to do the same thing. You should be able to hold up a uh, poster board and trace out your door frame and uh, do the same thing with wood if you want to. Uh, I'm, I know a lot, a lot of you uh, like GeoPros, Geo Pros come with, or some models come with screen doors. I think it might have probably been an option because I have seen a lot of them without. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this is a heck of a lot cheaper than paying 350 bucks to have one fabricated for you. Uh, so yeah, if you uh, like it, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks, guys. See you next time.